a need to do, and therefore the mentorship that has been going on. And let me say something very deliberate here. Charity Ngilu uh, occupies a, a, a very special place in our country. She is the first woman to dare to run for president, you know, materially. And she's been a great inspiration. I must say this. I, charity is many times uh, very hard on me. But I, I must say this about her, that she is a great inspiration to many women. Not, not in her party, to many women across Kenya. You know, her daring spirit has inspired many of these women who are today um, uh, uh, leaders in Kenya. I want to ask those of you who are leaders today, please, the mentorship that Charity uh, gave you, please mentor others by demonstrating great leadership going into the future. And we are going to stand together to work with you. The last election proved to be a transformational watershed in women's participation in political leadership. As a result, the number of women in each category of elective leadership grew, with the greatest leap being in the number of counties which elected female governors. Kwale here, Fatuma Chani, Machakos there, Wavinyandeti, Kirinyaga, Anu Waiguru, Embu, Sisili Mbarire, Meru, Kavira Mwangaza, Nakuru, Susan Kehika, and of course, Homa Bay, our Gladys one. And I am very confident that the governor's seat, we should be able to attain the parity benchmark much more faster than in all the other seats. And therefore, I support because it is true. These women governors have demonstrated great leadership. In fact, better than the men. And if there is a place, it is, it is always said, and I'm sorry, Sakaja, it is always said, you're, you're a great leader in Nairobi, <laughs> I must say that. But let me say this. It is always said, what men can do, women can do better. Yeah. If there is a demonstration of that belief that what men can do, women can do better, it is in the governor's position occupied by this woman. They have demonstrated that certainly women leadership as governors have done much more than what their male counterparts have done. These leaders, they have stepped up as models of transformative leadership.